In this video, you're going to learn a simpler way to simplify square roots. This might be a little bit different than what your teacher showed you in your class, but a lot of students find this a lot easier. So let's go through a bunch of examples and you'll get the feel for how this works. So the first example, the square root of 20, what we're going to do is we're going to do a prime factorization tree, meaning we're going to break this number down into its prime factors. So we say what two numbers multiply to 20? We could say like 4 times 5 is 20. And then 4 we can break down into 2 times 2. Now what you're looking for is a pair of the same number. So we look for groups of two of the same number. So that is 2. That comes out in front of the square root. And then whatever is left over is going to stay underneath the square root. And you got it. Now you can check your answer by taking this number on the outside, squaring it, 2 squared is 4, times the number underneath the square root, 5, that gives you back 20. Now the reason it works is because when we're looking at these pairs, 2 times 2 is 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. So this represents a perfect square. Let's take a look at another example. So for number 2, the square root of 32, let's break that down into its prime factors. So we say what two numbers multiply to 32? Well, that would be like 8 times 4. And then 8, we can break that down into 4 times 2. And this 4 is 2 times 2. And this 4 is 2 times 2. Now, what you want to do is you just want to look at the numbers here at the ends of the branches. Those are the prime factors. And you look for a pair, meaning two of the same number. I like to circle them. And then you can see we have this 2 left over. It doesn't have a pair. So what I like to do is I like to say, well, this is 2 times 2, which is 4, and then we have this 2 left over that stays underneath the square root, and you got it. Now again, you can check your answer by taking the number on the outside, squaring it, 4 squared is 16, multiplying it by the number on the inside, 2, that gives you back 32, so you can verify. Okay, let's take a look at number 3. So this is the square root of 48. So let's again break this number down into its prime factors. So we say what two numbers multiply to 48? That's 8 times 6. 8 we can break down further into 4 times 2, and 6 is 2 times 3, and then this 4 we can break down into 2 times 2. Now remember, you want to keep going until you just get a number that's only divisible by 1 in itself. So for example, 3 can only be divided by 1 and 3. That's a prime number. Then we look for pairs of the same number. So we say here's a pair, Here's a pair, and we have a 3 left over. So I'm going to take 2 times 2, which is 4, and we have the square root of 3, which is our remainder that stays underneath the square root. Let's take a look at number 4. See if you can do this one on your own. So the square root of 75, let's break this down into its prime factors. So we know that uh, there's 3 quarters and 75 cents, so 25 times 3 is 75. 25 is 5 times 5, and we've got down to the prime numbers now, so we say, hmm, are there any pairs? We've got a pair of 5s and a 3 left over, so this is going to be 5 square root of 3. The one that doesn't have a pair, that's like the remainder, it stays underneath the square root. Okay, number 5, the square root of 96. So remember, if a number ends in an even number, like 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, you can always cut it in half, meaning you can divide it by 2. So that's 2 times 48. 48, that's even, so we can divide that by 2. So that's 2 times 24. 24, that's even, so we can divide that by 2. That's 2 times 12. 12, that's even, we can divide that by 2. 6, that's even, we can divide that by 2. So that's a nice way to do it. If it's even, just keep cutting it in half. Now, we just want to work with the ends of the branches here, okay? And we look for pairs of the same number. So we have a pair of 2s, a pair of 2s, and we have now a 2 and a 3 left over. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 2 times 2, which is 4, and then these leftovers we're going to multiply together. 2 times 3 is 6. So this comes out to 4 squared is 6. Now again, you can check your answer. 4 squared is 16 times 6 gives us back 96. Okay, for number 6, the square root of 120. See if you can try this one on your own. Go ahead and pause the video and, and do this one. Now this one I'm going to do a little bit differently. It is even, but you see how it ends in a 0? Anything that's divisible by uh, 10 ends in a 0. So I could say 10 times 12 is 120. 10 we know is 2 times 5. 
12 here is uh, 2 times 6, and 6 is 2 times 3. So again, we're looking for pairs of the same number, right? It's so like a pair. So we've got a pair of 2s, and that's it. So we have a 2, a 3, and a 5 left over. So I'm going to take this pair of 2s, that's 2, and then what we're left with, 2 times 3 is 6 times 5 is square root of 30. So whatever is left over, you're going to multiply those together, and that's going to stay underneath the square root. Again, you can check your work. 2 squared is 4 times 30 gives us back 120. If you're enjoying my content here on Mario's Math Tutoring YouTube channel, consider joining the channel as a channel member. I really appreciate it. And let's do a few more examples. So the square root of 54, how would you do that one? See if you can pause the video. And if I was going to do it, I would break it down into its prime numbers. So 9 times 6 is 54. 9 can be broken down into 3 times 3. And 6 can be broken down into 3 times 2. Again, we're looking for pairs of the same number. So we're looking for two of the same number. So here's a pair. And we have a 3 and a 2 left over. So I would say this is 3. And we're left with 3 times 2, which is 6. That stays underneath the square root. That's like your remainder. This, again, remember, this represents 9, and the square root of 9 is 3. Once you take the square root, that's no longer underneath the square root symbol. Let's take a look at number 8. See if you can do this one on your own, square root of 98. Now, I notice it ends in an even number, right? So that means we can divide it by 2. We can cut it in half. So we say 2 times 49 is 98. 49 is 7 times 7, and these are all prime numbers. Now we look for a pair of the same number. So you can see we have a pair of 7s. So this is going to be 7 with a 2 left over, so 7 squared of 2. Again, we can check our answer. 7 squared is 49 times 2. We get back 98. Okay, see if you can test yourself on these last two ones. So we have the square root of 80. How would you do that one? Well, I notice that it ends in a 0. So when it ends in 0, it means we can divide it by 10. So this would be 10 times 8. 10, we know, is 2 times 5. 8, we know, is 2 times 4. And 4, we know, is 2 times 2. So that's as far as we can break it down. Now we're going to look for our pairs. So we've got a pair of 2s, a pair of 2s, and a 5 left over. So this is going to be 2 times 2, which is 4. And that 5 doesn't have a pair. That's the remainder that stays underneath the square root. Again, we can check our work. 4 squared is 16 times 5 gives us back 80. Okay, last example. See if you can do this one. Square root of 216. This is probably the biggest one we've done. When it's a large number like this, this prime factorization technique really is helpful because sometimes it's hard to figure out perfect squares that go into 216. But if we can see what that number is made up of, it makes it a lot easier. So 108, that's 2 times 54. 54, that's even. That's 2 times 27. 27, that's uh, 3 times 9. And 9, we know, is 3 times 3. So we're looking for pairs of the same number, right? So we've got a pair of 3s. We have a pair of 2s. And we have a 2 and a 3 left over. So what I would do is I would say 2 times 3 is 6. And we're left with 3 times 2, and that stays underneath the square root. So this is 6 square root of 6. Again, we can check our answer. 6 squared is 36 times 6 gives us back the 216. If you want to see more examples, another video that I did talking about simplifying square roots in this manner, check out the video I did right there. Follow me over to that video, and we'll get some more practice. I'll see you in that video.